I love geeks. When I started my career, I was、um, overseas sales of computer peripheral. At the time, there was almost no marketing concept in Japan. You know,、I'm, uh, I started job 18, 1981. I'm the same age as Madonna. <laughs> so、uh, that's why you know, my job required communicating with engineers about what customers wanted. It was not easy to develop a good relationship with them because they are too shy and they are not sociable. However, all of the sudden, my relationship with them changed dramatically to be good. When I started respecting, recognizing the product they made was great, I truly respected them. And all of the sudden, you know, they opened up to me too. And they started talking to me, they kept talking to me, never stopped. And I also like the fact Japanese engineers do not work for money. They do work for their passion and dreams. The product they make attract users. That's why I really enjoyed working with them. Later on, I left Japan for the US. To get an MBA degree at Stanford. But the real reason I left Japan was I could not find a daycare center for my son.、Uh, he seemed really enjoying at Stanford and the Silicon Valley. After I graduated, I set up my own consulting company to find a new technology. For the companies like such as NTT,、uh, so、Sony, Toshiba, Hitachi, these companies. And I try to,、um, you know, the other people, you know, come from Japan, you know, CTO, executives, and to visit Silicon Valley startups based on my research. And one day, I introduced a new technology to Sony. And the Sony guy said, Oh, we have this technology in the Chuo k e n k y u Shop. And I introduced another technology to Panasonic. Another day, they said, Oh, we have this technology in the Chuo k e n k y u Shop. <laughs> And another day, another technology to NTT. And the NTT guy said, Oh, we have this technology in. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Yeah,、uh, Chuo Kenki Yu is like a、uh, you know, central RD center. It's quite funny. All the Japanese electronics company has the same facility name. <laughs> <laughs> Japan is so homogeneous, never diversified. <laughs> so, but anyway, you know, so I. It seems to me, you know, Chu k e n k y u s h u is an amazing place because almost all the technology I introduced you know, in Silicon Valley that was already developed in Japan. So, for example, you know, 10 years before Yahoo started, 20 years before Google started, search engine was developed in Japan. Why is it? Japan does not dominate the internet industry. So, but, well, you know, I told them, then、uh, you don't need this technology. And they said, you know, we want it anyway. And why? You already have it. But they said, our technology is a little bit different from the one here in Silicon Valley. And I asked, how different? Well, our product, you know, engineers really, really wanted to make. And the product here is more user oriented, user experience design or design thinking, whatever you call it. So, something wrong in Japan. What's missing in Japan? 
user. So there was a time I decided to be a marketer, to connect the dot between user and engineers. You know this product? This changed all customers' behavior and the world. It was a mega hit. The two founders, a great engineer, Mr. Ibuka, and a great marketer, Mr. Morita, and even Steve Jobs respected them. You know, they made this happen. But when product is planned, you know, a lot of people inside the Sony oppose it. Then, you know, Mr. Morita's team went to Shibuya, hung around the Shibuya, and asked a whole bunch of students what and how they like the product. The result was major success. I think this is exactly how marketing is supposed to be. But this was really their case. In Japan, it doesn't often happen. But I have a new good news. Now, marketing is science. Before the internet, you know, we could have just some of the user's data, fraction of geography, demography, and purchasing that data. That's all we had. But now, when you analyze a website, you would understand with cookie ID who is coming from where and what they are looking at and how long. With the social media, you would have tweet, like, dislike, or anything in a context that's the uh, you know, user's mind, that we could know that. And with the social login, the cookie ID could be converted to a real name. So you understand who is exactly looking at. All these data, you know, we can deliver to engineer. Now engineer can come up with a great idea in you know, what to make. Well, I can show you a recent example, you know, Sapporo Brewery. You know, they launched a new product in March. You know, this one is very different from any previous ones. Because user decided, planned everything. You know, thousands of people came to a uh, you know, Facebook page and discussed one and a half hour, 18 times. User decided everything, including concept, package design, name of the product. Name of the product is Hyakunin no Kiseki, the miracle of a hundred. Even though I said user decided everything, users alone could not complete the process. You know, without engineers' involvement, you know, new taste could not be developed. But now engineer has everything, every data. Based on the data user provided, they developed the new taste. At the opening ceremony, you know, we taste for the first, first time, and we said, delicious. And the engineer said, it was fun. The other example is Muji. It's not the case of engineer, but it's the case of employee and users are connected. Each employee and outfit have a badge that displays in real time the number of likes they receive. We also installed a system that plays wood chimes every time an outfit receives a new like. So, well, kids are so excited that, 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 press the face, like button. So, 
You know, Japanese, you know, recently criticized, we are no longer innovative. I don't think it's true. You know, engineers are very, very innovative. Just need to be connected to users. And user truly enjoy the product they make. You would be very happy. And the engineer's dream come true. And more importantly, Japan is back. <laughs> Thank you.